Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to make a scroll saw from scratch. I built this prototype long time ago because I wanted to make a dive pilot but it wasn't working very well so I moved on. Then I stumbled upon quick spin videos which got me inspired to make a wooden gear clock but I didn't have a scroll saw so I needed to make one. I started with a steel circle that I found on scrapyard which were cutoffs from water jet cutting. Whenever I need to find the center of a circle I draw it on a piece of graph paper and then I'm able to line it up and center punch it. Here I'm drilling a 12mm hole to accept a rod of the same diameter which was then permanently welded to the disc. It wasn't exactly in the center but it uh, wasn't too much off. Here I'm drilling out the nuts to act as bushings but I later on replaced the smaller uh, nuts with actual ball bearings but I lost the footage of me changing that. To make it a bit better, the large copper nuts could be replaced with bronze bushings or even linear bearings. Next I cut two pieces of 10mm thick steel at about 70mm length and I ground and filed them to make them as close to being the same as possible. Next another 12mm hole was drilled through them. Here I'm welding the coupler nuts to the steel plates and I'm using the shaft to make sure that they are lined up. Next I'm welding them to this piece of square tubing and I'm checking the fit here and it results in a very nice tight fit with almost no play piece of uh, square tubing with one side cut off was used from that prototype that I showed at the beginning and it worked very well so I didn't need to change it. And finally a first test uh, of the mechanism results in a rather smooth operation and even very high speeds. Encouraged by how well it worked I decided to continue on with the build but the square tubing was a bit too short so I needed to extend it by welding two more pieces on either side of it. Next I welded another piece to the bottom and went on to cut and weld more pieces that make up the frame. I didn't take too much footage of this as it's all pretty much the same. Just repeated cutting and welding of the square tubing. Next problem I had was how to attach the blade to the shaft and this is what I came up with. I cut a slot with a hexo and then drilled the hole to accept the prongs of the blade. 90 degrees to that hole I drilled and tapped uh, the hole to accept a 6mm bolt that will hold the blade permanently. Now I started to work on the upper arm that holds the blade on the top side and I wanted something light so I bought an aluminium square tube which works great. I tapped it to accept the 10 M10 bolt but I switched the design as you'll see. I made the same blade attachment in the bolt as on the shaft. Now I'm working on the piece of steel square tube where the upper arm will attach. I use the safe edge of the file on the bottom to prevent the teeth from digging in. Then a hole was drilled and nut and bolt were used to secure the aluminium but allow it to freely move. I bought a piece of laminated beech wood from a hardware store to use as a saw top. 
and rounded over the corners and softened all the edges. I attached the motor to the bottom and made the first test. Point I thought that the saw was done, so I painted it. Trying it out, I realized that the motor wasn't powerful enough, so I switched to a motor from a small electric lawnmower, for which I made the mount from angle iron. The motor was then way too fast, so I needed to make a big pulley to reduce uh, the speed. I used the same laminated beach and turned the pulley on a lay. After trying the saw I was happy with the speed but didn't wait to keep the constant tension on the upper arm so I needed to shorten the spring as it was a bit too long and didn't provide enough tension. I heated the tip with a propane torch and with pliers made a little loop for welding. I welded the washer to the nut uh, for attaching the spring to the frame and to the upper arm. Then I wasn't happy with the way the blade is attached to the upper arm so I made a new one that were able to freely rotate. To use really small saw blades I made new holders by drilling a tiny 1mm hole in the shaft and then again by drilling a tapping for an M6 bolt. I attached uh, the saw to the blade and wanted to really try it out by cutting some 50mm thick ash that will be an X handle that you'll see in the new video. The saw was able to cut it but it would sometimes grab the piece and pull it up. So I went on to make the hold down clamp thing that a lot of commercial scroll saws have. I used uh, a hex steel bar and drilled a 10mm hole through it for a 10mm rod that will have the toe of the clamp attached to it. Here I'm making that toe. Decided to bend the legs of the toe for a bit more better shape, I guess. Here I'm carving out a recess in the square tube where the hex uh, bar will be welded to. And then I've drilled and tapped an M6, uh, a hole for an M6 bolt to act as a set screw. And to be able to secure it at different heights. Here, as you, here you can see how it works when it's attached to the saw. The saw uh, was a bit too loud because the bearing that was attached to the disc was making too much noise as it moved in the yoke part. So I made a new one from aluminium. I cut it with a hacksaw and then drilled a, a hole a clearance hole for an M6 bolt.
I filed it to be a nice tight fit in the yoke. And here you can see how it works in the saw. And that's it, the saw was done. Here I'm uh, using it to cut a piece of sheet metal and I put a junior hexa blade in the holder which also shows the versatility of the holders because I can use basically any blade and to cut that ash piece I use the piece of benzo blade that I attached to the saw. Hope you enjoyed the build and please if you have share, like, comment and subscribe for more. Also tell me what you think of this voiceover and if you prefer videos with or without one. This is my first one so it's pretty bad but I guess others will be a bit better. Thanks for watching.